Tonight, we are not messing around. This is no lightweight show today. Check it out. We had Megadeth play. They're going to play later on. And right now, this is like an added surprise I'm so stoked about. Two of the biggest rock and roll bands in the world. From Guns N' Roses, Slash. And from Metallica, Lord. Kind of like an added surprise. First of all, obviously, stop laughing. Get serious now. I want to talk about something that starts off Friday in Washington, D.C. I'm going to be there with MTV, so that'll be good for me. I get to see both bands. The Guns N' Roses and Metallica tour. How did the whole thing come about? I can't hear a word you're saying. I can't hear it. You guys, guys keep it down. Right. Everybody, so quiet for a second. We're trying to talk to these guys. Okay. I want right. to talk about, obviously, the Guns N' Roses Metallica. Hey, Slash. It's been a long time. How you doing? How's the family? This is funny. I didn't know. I didn't know. Anyways. It's a long story. Right? The Guns Metallica tour. It yeah. starts off Friday in Washington, D.C., and we're going to be there. I'm going to be there with MTV, and you'll we'll be watching be it. Or you in Washington, everybody will probably be there. Right. And I assume that you guys we'll will be, be there. there. Yeah, so tell me, how did the tour come about? <laughs> Just because, well, we've been buds yeah. for a long time. A lot Basically, of late nights. It, it was real, it was real <laughs> simple. We go out, we get drunk, and we go, let's I find that so hard to believe. <laughs> It's, that's the honest God truth. That's how it happened. And it was pretty tough. I mean, putting this type of show together. I know in a lot of places. It was complicated, but we dealt with each yeah. other as friends. Most so of it was yeah. cool on that. On Most that, of the times, that. you know, when the managers and the agents and stuff like that would sit the there and you know, know would just we'd have to call each other up and say, look, we got to just resolve this and stuff like that. So, you know, yeah, me and him did a lot of the groundwork, and it, it's working out good. So it was a kind of you guys saying, hey, we just decided yeah. that hey, we're, we're, we're going, going on tour yeah, together, so you guys figure it out. Just so everybody knows, this is like equal billing, and it's a complete Guns N' Roses show and a complete Metallica show, right? That's one thing. It's a co. It's a co tour, all right. So it's it's Metallica and Guns, Guns and Metallica. That's that. Full stages right? so for both as long bands. As everybody both, knows. Yeah. Both it's not playing like full headline anybody shows. Anybody trying to pull some sort of star trip. It's really just a summer concert. It's gonna be cool. And what are the kind of things? Any special surprise you want to give out, like about the stage? I know that uh, you guys had that. Well, we have. Yeah, we have our before. snake pit thing that we had indoors, and uh, we have that kind of in stadium format. <laughs> so you're still going to let people in the middle yeah. for now? Are the same people going to be in the middle for the gun show, too? No. You're going to throw Right. <laughs> Sorry, now you got to get out. No, well, they, yeah. the, the, the um, Metallica show, they do their trip and we do ours. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that was the whole yeah. idea was, you know, we do two and a half hours of our thing, they do two and a half hours of their thing, and it's yeah. completely different, you know? Now, how long is set, so you guys, I mean, this is like a whole day thing. They're going to yeah. start at like two 3 o'clock. And, and there's also Faith No More. Yeah, that's you know? another it's thing like I wanted to ask, Greg, because I know that Guns, you guys have always liked Faith No More. I know Faith No More opened up for you before. A couple years ago. So how did that come about? No, we didn't have them, but they... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on! So now we know how they got the tour. Well, they, they opened up for us in Europe, and they were great. Okay, yeah. one thing... And Soundgarden as well. All right, just... But Soundgarden isn't playing this We're not going to be, but they're not, they're, they're not on this one. It's just... Faith then then we'd have to make it into, like, a two-day event. Exactly. You know? it's like, <laughs> bad. But they, they go for two-day events. <laughs> One thing that I want to get cleared up so everybody knows, Axel is out of jail. Uh, he's out of jail. He's in court right now. Uh -huh. I was like, hey. <laughs> so any members? <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Axel, uh... The situation in St. Louis is the, the prosecutor, which I don't know his name, is he's, I don't know what his point is, mm -hmm. but he's trying to make a point. And luckily, on, on our behalf, Axel's dealing with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we saw Axel. Like, he looked great. He looked like he had yeah, an okay he, time in jail. Yeah, because it's a joke. He was having a great time. I talked to him yesterday. Like, you know, a lot of people just don't believe that this is happening. Yeah, you know, a lot of people the last couple of days we've been hanging out. You know, it's a tour canceled, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's, you know, we're going down like to D.C. tomorrow. So Washington, D.C. Friday. Yeah, we're going down to D.C. to do yeah. sound checks and stuff like that. They've been down there working for like a whole week setting up like this enormous stage and everything. And we're going down there. It's reality. <laughs> <I> mean, people, <laughs> people think it's some sort of like big hype thing. And it's okay. not, you know, we're, we're, we're do, we set this up, we're doing this tour. Yeah. I think it's the type of thing for a rock fan to see your two favorite bands in the world probably playing together. Yeah, it's kind but, of amazing. You know, yeah. Especially with Guns N' Roses, we have so many mishaps. <laughs> I find All that right. hard to believe. Yeah. Too. So like, like for, for example, Detroit's flipping out because they don't know if we're going to play or not because mm -hmm. we canceled there three times. And it's not, 
it's not like we don't want to play Detroit. It's just because we've had all these, you know, circumstances, we'll call them, which have uh, pre uh, prevented us from being able to get there. So we are playing. You know, yeah, we're so going to be back in Detroit this word. Yeah. You know, we are coming. <laughs> they will be there, <laughs> as far as you know. Yeah. And we're going to be back talking to Slash and Lars in a little bit. But right now, it's time to check in with Matt Gallant with news. Matt. Anyways, we were talking a little bit about this tour, which is probably the biggest tour to hit ever. ever, ever. Guns N' Roses, Metallica, and Faith No More. Right. And one thing that we were talking about a little bit earlier is there's a lot of big cities that you guys yeah. aren't going to hit, and it's not by your choice, right? No. It's, um, we sat down like basically picked like the 30 biggest cities in the country, and when it came time to like Cleveland, Philly, Atlanta, I think Kansas City, places like that, they just said, <laughs> stay away. And uh, like we tried St. Louis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, St. Louis. That was not we one of the cities that was picked. <laughs> Believe me. But like the stadiums there, we tried like race, you know, race tracks. You know, I mean, do you have a field? We'll show up and play in a field. You know, find us a sewer system. We're there. But I just want to tell all the kids in those cities that right it's not because we didn't, you know, not for lack of trying. You know, all you guys in Atlanta and Cleveland and so on. You guys are. Gonna have to do a little driving, but uh, hey, we tried. Yeah, because so. sometimes people in those cities say, "Oh God, Guns yeah. and Metallica—they're forgetting about us." But you yeah. guys want to play all yeah. these cities, you know, right? Yeah, you we sat play down everywhere. Because yeah. yeah, I mean, up. even in LA, I know with the Rose Bowl, it took forever to finally yeah. say, "Hey, to this Guns and Metallica it. show is going to be okay. Your neighbors yeah. don't have to worry about anything." Which is another thing, you know, you might want to tell the, the people that go to the show, you love the screaming and yelling, but you know, make sure that everybody's. Kinda no, you got to get to a point where where it's 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 your show, yeah. But at the same time, it's got to be organized and it's got to be it's it's got to be formulated in a point to a point where you can get as many people into one place without having any like upheaval you know mm -hmm. and then finally you start to narrow it down to okay this city this city we we played there before right. so we know exactly it's going to be organized because sure like that, one other thing to make sure also that in the rest places the, that they'll, they'll let other shows come in afterwards you and know other what I mean? The other thing that I think like a lot of the people that go to these shows don't understand is when everybody goes nuts, it might be fun tearing out the chairs and throwing them up on stage, yeah. but you guys have to pay for that. Yeah, you know? Know. Like, I know all about it's like, that. Yeah, yeah, let's tear up the chairs. Yeah, well, here's I, the bill. I, 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 only, I only have, have one amp that works, still. <laughs> right. so, uh, I have one amp. I've been right. on tour with one amp. So scream and yell, go yeah, nuts. So, but but just remember, kind of if you guys start... So. Rebel. See, the, the thing is, a lot of kids think you know they start tearing out seats or you know screwing up the place, where that they're rebelling against the venue or the promoter. But they're, what they're really rebelling, rebelling against is just us because we have to you know pay the yeah. bills, and it gives like all heavy metal a bad name because they don't want any more rock. Yeah, that's why there's not shows in places just, like Cleveland it's, and Philly. It's, yeah, it's, it's a weird feeling. Guys, thanks a lot for uh, stopping. <laughs> And we'll see you in Washington. I'll be there for the first Guns Metallica Faith No More show. Coming up, we're going to crown today's 6 o'clock slugout champion. Here are the standings so far. I don't know what the standings are. Anyway, if you're not happy with that, call 1-800-862-2688 and get happy. Plus, after the break, we'll have more live thrashing from Megadeth. And I'll tell you to stick around, but I know you're going to do it anyway.